So out of five gallons right now, the customer is getting approximately six extra shot glasses of gasoline. Correct. When was the last time you checked like Google reviews on where you're gonna buy your gas? We've all had sticker shock filling our gas tanks, but have you ever watched the meters on the pump turn and wonder who's making sure those numbers are accurate? I have thought that myself. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle watched one of Utah's gas pump inspectors do his job and asked what the state does when a station is not giving you your money's worth. Have you ever wondered if you're getting what you pay for at the gas pump? Absolutely. Sometimes I've filled up with gas and my car doesn't work so well, so I'm wondering that it's got water down. Only one time because it was very slow and it was overestimating how much gas it had prompted. Have you ever wondered if your gas pumps are accurate? From time to time I have. I usually take it for granted that they are, though. Here's the zero. And here's your six. Making sure your um, gas pump is accurate is this guy's job. One, two, three, four, five, six cubic inches. Mylon Coford. Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the pump. We're gonna make sure that everything on the signage on the pump is correct. We're gonna compare the price on each grade to the street sign to make sure that the advertisement is correct. <laughs> Coford and his seven inspectors from Utah's Department of Agriculture and Food check more than 20,000 retail gas pumps a year, even the ones that aren't for cars. Last year I had a complaint at Dangling Rope. If you know where Dangling Rope is, it's, yeah. it's 50 miles out of Bullfrog. And thank you to DNR, they put me on a boat and took me down there. Coford showed us an inspection at a Maverick station in Salt Lake City. His team pumps fuel up to a five gallon mark on the device in the back of this truck, then compares it to what the pump displays. A slight discrepancy in favor of the station or customer is allowed, but only slight. So on this is six cubic inches, and if you think of a cubic inch as just about a shot class. So out of five gallons right now, the customer is getting approximately six extra shot glasses of gasoline. Correct. Yeah, we were figuring it, it, was, it was a percentage of a penny. Inspectors also ensure the gasoline is the octane or purity displayed on the pump label. This is, in fact, ethanol free. And they do something that's not actually required. The inspectors look to see if thieves have installed a device to steal credit card data. So we're always looking to check the card reader to make sure there's no skimmers. How often does the state inspect each gas pump? Uh, annually is what our goal is. We're annually to 14 months, I should say. If we get a complaint, we go back and we, we check the station again. We will fail about 1.7% of those. So not a lot of those devices that fail, 20% of those will fail because of calibration. And we usually give the establishment 10 working days to get that corrected. The station may be required to take the pump out of service until the fix. If the station fails to fix the problem after 10 days, Coford's division will issue a warning. If the issue lingers, it can issue a citation and fine. But Coford says Utah hasn't cited a service station in years. The fuel station, since we've been going to them regularly for the last five, seven years, they have wanted to be in compliance. It makes more sense from a financial perspective to wait and correct the issue if the state catches it um, than to correct it ahead of time. It, there's no reason, presumably, why they wouldn't just wait to get caught. David Carter is a public policy associate professor at the University of Utah. He hasn't studied gas pump inspections, but does research regulation. He says issuing occasional fines would encourage more gas stations to follow the rules. I mean, when was the last time you checked like Google reviews uh, on where you're going to buy your gas? Uh, so the same market incentive isn't there, which arguably makes it that much more important to have an effective regulatory structure. A lot of people are going to hear that you haven't cited a station in seven or eight years and think that Utah is not doing its job here. I mean, what would you say to that? I would welcome them to come along on an inspection. If there was a need to, to give a citation, I think it needs to be given. But if, if people are compliant, you don't want to just go out there just to, just to be a gotcha state. In Salt Lake City, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.